what is open loop system and closed loop system what exactly it's in automotive so it's a very interesting concept that you most of you have been working in this open loop as well as closed loop system let's have a look on what exactly the open loop as well as closed loop system which is a straightforward statement and uh, definitions with proper example has been given in this tutorial before that if you want to visit our site you can visit to watch our tutorials in the order sequence and if you're not subscribed yes please subscribe for more updates and share to your friends let's see the open loop and closed loop system before that this open loop and closed loop system has been introduced in the uh, domain called that is in the technology that is control system in the control system engineering the most of the you know boilers walls has been used and uh, the main uh, the main um, uh, intention of this control system is uh, to temp uh, to control the temperature as well as the pressure so for that the control system brought this concept called open loop and closed loop system and this open loop and closed loop system has been you know it's uh, derived to many of the technologies including the automotive so let's see what exactly the open loop system is in open loop control system the input is not depend on the output of the system it's only rely on the input given at initial phase so here we have the input and here we have the output and what are the disturbance will be there yes it will come as a output the disturbance with input will be the output say for example if i am talking to you or i am explaining something to you so i am giving the input you are directly receiving the output so this is the open loop system so whenever i am i am telling something there is some noise even in some of the tutorials you know if there is some some noise used to come so the noise directly coming to you that is a disturbance there is noise is nothing but the disturbance and my input is reaches you as a output that is what open loop system to avoid this you know the output will will not be accurate right so if i am telling you something if there is some disturbance occurs then you will not receive the content as whatever i am telling exactly the 100% will not you know achieve so our intention is to remove this disturbance so how can we remove this disturbance so this can be possible by the closed loop system say for example here we have the feedback so this is a closed loop system so i am giving input and uh, some disturbance has been came then once the output comes the feedback will check whether the disturbance is really spoiling or not if it spoils is yes, again this output will comes to the input and until it uh, it reaches it gives the accuracy then it will fetch as a output so that i'll use some feedback that feedback mechanism to control this disturbance so this is a closed loop system so it's a very layman term i have been explained so let's see the definition so as i said the open loop is only rely on the input but uh, there is no other controller no other feedback whereas in the closed loop system you can have the controller there is a feedback mechanism it will just keep on giving you the you know, input as a output so it will it will just keep on uh, you know the closed loop used to loop it and it will just give you the accurate accurate output whenever it attains the state or else it's not only for giving the giving as a output it's also to maintaining some uh, stuff say for example ac you know air, air cooler or air conditioner if there is a closed loop mechanism has been uh, implemented so the air cooler also works in the same concept so that is what closed loop system let's move on to this open loop and closed loop system how it really impacts and really booms the automotive technology so let's see the uh, first open loop system in automotive so we have two scenarios here the scenario 1 in the scenario 1 the driver accelerates around 80% of the act pedal that is accelerate pedal then the torque produced by the engine which propel to move is 90 km per hour in the normal road gradient say normal road gradient is in the sense you are just going in the flat road that is uh, you are the driver has pressed the 80% so after some 5 to 6 uh, or 10 seconds the car has reaches the 90 km per hour in the normal road surface say for example if the driver is going in a hill up hill or a down hill so in the, here in this case the down hill the same 80% act pedal which gives you around 120 110 km per hour in the down hill so it's just a instance this example and in the same way for up hill it is 60 60 km per hour so the speed is differing whereas the accelerating input is same so why the output has been changing because of the disturbance disturbance is nothing but here the road surface if it is the up surface 
it is a kind kind of disturbance if it is a downhill it is also a kind of disturbance so here the output is not exactly rely on input so it is there is somewhere it is the disturbance has been coming the disturbance mixing up and it will give you the output as 110 km per hour and 60 km per hour so this automotive technology has really failed to overcome this problem so before that we'll see the observation so the observation whatever i have said that is observation let's uh, have a statement here even if the accelerator pedal position is same but depends on the road gradient the vehicle speed keeps on changing without any control or action so this is on good example for the open loop system let's see the closed loop system so i guess this one you got a clear idea on how open loop system example works then here it's a closed loop system to overcome these kind of uh, problems so the the one technology brought is cruise that is cruise control so the cruise control is a system that automatically controls the speed of the motor vehicle see if for example if a driver going in a 80 or 90 km per hour at the time if the driver just say give a set then the cruise will set to 80 or 90 km per hour whatever say here we don't want to confuse just make it as 90 if the driver is going in a 90 km per hour in a, in a highway is just uh, give the input as set then it will set to 90 km per hour so what are the road surface it will not worry the output will be always 90 km per hour if it is a downhill yes the the speed will the torque will be lesser if it is a uphill the torque will be more to propel the vehicle see here for instance if the driver accelerates 80 percent the torque produced by the engine propel to move and activates cruise mode this is a closed closed loop system which works as a concept of closed loop system so here yeah, the 85 kilometers is the cruise i have given so 85 km behind the normal road gradient downhill and uphill and all the three road condition it is 85 km only so this scenario two has mainly rely on the closed loop system the closed loop system makes the car speed is a constant in all the road surface so here the observation is the speed of the vehicle is constant irrespective to the road gradient because the controller controls the speed by principle of closed loop system so this is a very good example for the closed loop system i guess you got some idea about what is open loop system and what is closed loop system so in the same way we can apply in any any other you know any other uh, parameters say ac or uh, even brake abs esp this all are uh, works under the closed loop system that's the controller always gets the input uh, uh, always gets the output and it which in turns makes a feedback and gives us a input from the output so this is a closed loop system will work so if you really like this yes hit a like and sh if you're not sh uh, subscribed you can subscribe and share to your friends who are working on open loop and closed loop system or who I want to know about the concept is yes, uh, I guess it's very you know easy to understand and uh, if you are uh, you can just uh, visit our site in your free time catch you in another tutorial until then bye